welcome. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about prop balancing. To start with, you're going to need a few tools. A balancing rod, wine glass, level, and some sandpaper. Let's talk about that. Here we just have some sandpaper I picked up from Walmart. Some 1000 grit sandpaper is what I like to use. And then you can also use 1500 grit as well. It works very good. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less uh, rough. The 1000 grit does most of the work and works very well. Let's get on to talking about how I like to balance my props. And there's lots of different ways to do it, but I found this way to be the most precise, in my opinion. And uh, this right here is my main tool, and this is used for the Phantom 4 props, and uh, or the quick release ones. And all it is is a rod, and it has a little pin right here that can go inside the prop. And then what I have here is a regular wine glass, you know, that can be picked up anywhere for very cheap. And I have it filled with water, and that's only to provide weight to keep it from tipping over. And then we have here a regular level. And the reason why I have a level here is I want to ensure that my glass is perfectly level because any slope would obviously, with this type of system, make it roll and give you uh, less accurate results. And you want to check it, you know, a couple different ways. And then you could actually shim it with, you know, little pieces of paper or whatever, you know, on the bottom if you needed to. But it looks like uh, mine today is uh, fairly good. I'm not seeing any type of real discrepancy. And this here is a standard prop. Um, it hasn't really been used. And so I'd like to check it to see, you know, how, you know, precise it is right off the bat. And it is pretty good. It's got a little bit more weight right here on this side here, and that's why that side went down. We'd like I'd like to verify that. And yeah, we can see it moving here too. So we know that this prop here needs just a little bit of polishing. I'm gonna get out the fifteen hundred grit for this one and give it a little bit of sanding. I don't use tape or anything like that or add weight to it. I'm not going to take off but just a real minute amount. That's not going to really make a huge amount of difference and I feel that if you add something to it that's going to change it a little bit and I don't like that and tape could definitely fall off and you'll be flying around with unbalanced props and not even know it which isn't good. And I'm going to focus on the the actual printing on here. I'm going to take that off. Just little tiny bits of weight. Obviously if I sand down here it's going to have more effect on the balance but I'm, I'm more worried about keeping the blade a hundred percent so I'm going to take off the labeling right here instead. And it's you know a real simple process. And because of this is set to fine grit it's not going to really leave a whole lot of marks. It's going to more or less polish it up when I'm done. I'm just going to give it a little bit. And then let's see if we did anything. Ooh, just, it is just pretty good right there. almost wants to go that way. That might be just the movement though. So it's coming back up. Well, it's just balancing, which is exactly what we want. So that one really didn't take a whole lot. And uh, that happens sometimes. Sometimes you'll have some that are pretty good and others are not so good. 
And that should give you the basic idea on how to balance a prop. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll keep on making these type of videos. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy. Happy flights.